a determination to reach the strait and enforce our mission. But I want to ask a question here. How far you were convinced that this is the right decision, this is the right mission at that point? The right mission? Yeah, the right mission, the right position, the at that point, how far you were convinced that this is the right decision to go ahead with the mission? Were you, I mean that, were you just following the orders and obeying the orders of the super commanders or you were convinced? I am convinced that because I believe in God. Mm -hmm. Our soldiers mm -hmm. are the victorious. Yeah. This is our religion. We but it could be so in terms of delaying the mission for another time to be well equipped or with some alternatives that could I see. bring I about success. The time is not permissible. Mm. Mm. We have to, to accomplish the mission mm. as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Because it is, if we permit the, uh, the enemy mm. to advance through the street with his armored reserve units, it means the failure of the crossing. Mm -hmm. No time to be wasted. Mm -hmm. We have to go as soon as possible. Therefore, we attempted five failed missions mm -hmm. and insisted on implementing the mission. Okay? No way back then. No way. It's mm -hmm. closed end job. Mm -hmm. We have to obey and reach the strait as soon as possible. That was the mechanism of the operation. Oh, that was okay. the, me yeah, the, the mechanics, how it goes on. You have no other option than going ahead with it. No options mm -hmm. in the army, especially in commanders. Mm -hmm. You have no choices, mm -hmm. OK? Mm -hmm. This is the last resort mm -hmm. to obey and uh, reach the mission as soon as possible, reach mm -hmm. the strait, mm -hmm. OK? Mm -hmm. The bottleneck road mm -hmm. and the mountain area. Mm -hmm. I negotiated with the uh, commander of the 1st Mechanized Brigade, yeah. Colonel Salah Zaki. Mm -hmm. Waste time, waste effort, I have to go and observe God. I led my camel convoy mm -hmm. and the five men mm -hmm. to the bottleneck mountain area. Mm -hmm. A lot of details. It takes a lot of time. We met obstacles and uh, a, a lot of critical situations. Mm -hmm. I cannot say here mm -hmm. what I met because it needs Just give us a glimpse time. of it so that the, our viewers can catch up with the events of the mission. One of them mm -hmm. in Ayum Musa, mm -hmm. we took uh, an, a trench or uh, as the bombardment of the airplanes, mm -hmm. a shelter with the camels, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. I found six air defense mm -hmm. tanks mm -hmm. and the air defense people mm -hmm. on it. Mm -hmm. From the daylight at five o'clock, mm -hmm. they were in continuous combat with the aircrafts. Mm -hmm. At 11.30, after six hours and a half, mm -hmm. the perils came like that. Mm -hmm. And all the people got martyrdom. Mm -hmm. All the people. Mm -hmm. uh, in the trench beside me, mm -hmm. a car loaded with ammunition bombs. Mm. The driver and his fellow mm. and the captain. Mm. After the air raid, mm. the Nepal caught the driver. He came running to me. Mm. I see the bones mm. and would like to hug mm. him. Mm. But the, mm. the car exploded. Okay, mm -hmm. he got martyrdom. Mm -hmm. All these critical situation, okay, check our souls. But we determine to go forward to the street 
whatever happened. Nothing impossible. أمام عملية يوم السادس من أكتوبر سنة 73 هنا تمكنت القوات المسلحة المصرية من اقتحام مانع قناة السويس الصعب واجتياح خط برليف المنيع وإقامة رؤوس جسور لها على الضفة الشرقية من القناة بعد أن أفقدت العدو توازنه كما قلت في ست ساعات For the moment about those characters, those personalities, those people that you met, that were part of shaping your character now. I would like, first of all, to say that uh, uh, success mm -hmm. is granted by Allah. Okay. Is granted by Allah. Mm -hmm. The first one who really influenced me and influenced the world, the whole world. Prophet Muhammad, peace and peace. Of course, Prophet Muhammad. Mm -hmm. The second one, mm -hmm. the everlasting leader, Gamal Abdel Nasser. Mm -hmm. I think he's the second to none. Mm -hmm. Second to none. Mm -hmm. He planted in me mm -hmm. and in all Egyptian people mm -hmm. how to love Egypt, mm -hmm. how to exert your utmost effort. He is a treasure of patriot, yes. This is Gamal Abdel Nasser. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was a child, mm -hmm. when he stood in Al Azhar Mosque and delivered his speech, all the people weeping and crying, mm -hmm. we will not surrender mm -hmm. against the tribal aggression in 19. 56. Mm -hmm. He is the idiom of patriotism. Mm -hmm. Mr. President, the late Gamal Abdel Nasser. Mm -hmm. The second one, my father, Hag Muhammad. Mm -hmm. He was strict, mm -hmm. but at the same time, kind hearted. Mm -hmm. Kind hearted. Mm -hmm. He planted in his family how to love each other and cooperate together. Nothing impossible. Mm -hmm. So I was happy when the army, okay, launched this name here. Mission impossible. Impossible mission or mission impossible. Mm -hmm. After that, my teacher in the intermediate school in mm -hmm. Mithwam, Mr. Fauzi Fouda. I remember till now, during the morning line, when he delivered enthusiastic speeches, okay, we will die for the sake of Egypt. The other one, a sergeant, non-commissioned officer in command troops. We were in a sports competition. Mm -hmm. He died during the cross-country competition for the sake of commanders, mm -hmm. troops. Mm -hmm. I learned it from him how to sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Endless sacrifice mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. He bet his life mm -hmm. for the command troops in training. Mm -hmm. The other one Mr. President, the late President, Muhammad Anwar Al-Sarat.
And at the end, all the Egyptian people is a global village. I learn it from everyone. I always watch the mistakes and error here, the margin, the percentage, mm -hmm. and also the successful stories, mm -hmm. how I can learn from them. Mm -hmm. The Global Village is a wide school to learn from each and every problem. Something it's not too old to learn, I'm sorry. Of course, it's never late to learn. Yeah. Yeah. Summing up this interview, we want to uh, uncover secrets of success that guided you throughout the whole of your life. Guided me? Guided you throughout the whole of your life. To sum up, secrets of success. This is a secret of? Success. success. As you believe. Yeah. I believe it is a motive power inside, a motive power. Power of faith. We are different. Power of faith, believing God, mm -hmm. okay, nothing impossible mm -hmm. in life. Mm -hmm. In command troops, I learned it. life is few centimeters under ground. Mm -hmm. Now, can you tell me how many people didn't die? None. It's a closed end job, inevitable, mm -hmm. inevitable. It is a postulant in the dictionary of life. Postulant in the dictionary of life that does. So we have to exert our utmost efforts to live in brown. Make the best use of every moment. Pardon? Make the best use of every moment you're living. Of course, mm -hmm. of course. That's life. It's not worth to waste time and effort. We have to determine to reach our goals, whatever the price is is endless, closed-end job, underground. We have to observe God, work hard. And don't wait appraisal from other people. No, inside yourself and God. What's your advice? Advice to all people, don't wait appraisal from others. Mm -hmm. Wait from Allah. Mm -hmm. If you wait appraisal from others, mm -hmm. No, it is unbelievable. Only one God. That was your advice to them. Thanks, you for joining us. Thanks very much. Always follow us on Facebook. We're waiting for your stories of success or the story of people who inspired or moved you. The fact remains is, think success, make it happen. Well, it doesn't.